EVS one lesson a look inside the body. Children, look at this picture. Which part of the body do we, do we use for walking? Yes, legs, very good. For writing, hand, very good. For listening, ears, good. For smelling, nose, very good. Children, we use these parts of our body to do our work. The part of the body that is used to perform a certain function is called an organ. Which parts of our body are called sensory organs? Yes, eyes, nose, ears, skin and tongue. These are our sensory organs. And why are they called sensory organs? Because they make us aware of the situation around us. Eyes will tell the things that are around us. Nose will tell us the smell that is around us. Ears will tell us the sound around us. Skin will tell us the feelings of the things around us and with the tongue we can smell many, taste many things. Organs on the outside of our body are, are our external organs. They can be easily seen. So all these organs are external organs because and they can be easily seen. Let's read and see which are these organs. This is a heart, stomach, lungs, brain, kidneys, intestines, liver, bladder. Now children, are you able to see these organs? No. Why? Because they are not outside our body. They are inside our body. An organ that is situated inside the body is called internal organ. It cannot be seen from the outside. Many functions of our body go on inside our body. A network of blood vessels is spread throughout the body. Blood flows through them continuously. These are the blood vessels everywhere and blood is flowing continuously. The air we breathe in is carried to all the parts of the body through the blood. Air we breathe through the nose and into the lungs and goes to all the different parts of our body. The food that we eat is digested. Whatever you eat gets digested inside our body. These functions are carried out by different organs called internal organs. Let us learn a few things about them. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about a few of these internal organs. Here I have two jars. This jar is kept with biscuits inside and this jar with the biscuits inside is turned upside down and some biscuits are broken inside. Here also this is a biscuit packet. This is, these biscuits are wrapped inside and no matter how much you shake, these biscuits won't break because they are intact in the pack. These were shaken and so the biscuits broke. Children, in the same way, our internal organs also are in, 
remain intact because of the cavities that are present. The cavities support and keep our internal organs intact. Just like this pack of biscuits. And another on the left. The right lung is slightly larger than the left. It is because of the heart. The heart is more towards the left. And because of it, there is a slight depression on the left lung. You can see this tube here. This is a pipe through which the air from the nose comes in to the lungs. This pipe is called the windpipe. The windpipe is further divided here into two parts. Each part is called bronchus. This is one bronchus and this is another bronchus. The functions of the heart and the lungs depend on each other. Both these internal organs are very important. They are situated in the thoracic cavity. Inside the cage made of bones called the rib cage. That is why they are safe and secure. The next organ is the brain. The brain situated in the cranial cavity is a very important internal organ. It controls all that we do. It is in the brain that we become aware of emotions such as anger, joy, sorrow, etc. The meaning of information collected by our sensory organs is also understood in the brain. Injury to the brain can make one disabled for life. It can even cause death. So, the brain needs to be totally protected and that is a function of the shell or the casing formed by the skull around it. Now, children, do you know when we learn a poem, it is registered in the brain. That is why we can remember it. This work of remembering is called memory. See, the brain is trying to register whatever comes to your mind. Look at this picture. It's a proper picture of your brain. The structure of our body is very complex. You can see it's very, it looks very complicated. There are large number of organs inside our body which help it to perform all its functions smoothly. It is very interesting to learn about all these organs and do find out more about them as you grow up. What we have learned, the numerous important functions that go on inside our body are carried by out by different organs. These organs are inside our body. They cannot be seen from outside. They are called internal organs. The body is structured in such a way that the internal organs remain safe within the cavities inside the head and the torso. The esophagus carries the swallowed food from the throat to the stomach. It is situated in the thoracic cavity. The heart keeps the blood flowing through the vessels spread throughout the body. The heart is continuously contracting and relaxing. The contractions of the heart push the blood from the heart into the blood vessels. The lungs are the organs through which the air we breathe in is supplied to the whole body. The right lung is a little bigger than the left lung. The heart and the lungs are held safely in the rib cage in the thoracic cavity. Our brain 
is a very important internal organ. It has a safe place inside the skull. Controlling movements, becoming aware of emotions and interpreting the information collected by the sensory organs are the functions of the brain. EBS 1, Lesson 11, A Look Inside the Body Question 1, fill in the blanks. A. Every throbbing of the heart is called a heart beat. B. We become aware of all our emotions in the brain. C. The structure of the human body is very complex. D. The brain is situated in the cranial cavity. E. The esophagus is also called the gullet. Question 2. Write whether the following statements are true or false. A. The esophagus is in the thoracic cavity. True. B. The heart is a little bigger than our fist. True. C. The food in the mouth forms a moist lump. True. D. In the brain, we interpret the information collected by the sensory organs. True. E. The length of elementary canal is about 10 meters. False. F. Injury to the brain does not affect one's life. False. Question 3. Match the following. 1. Blood supply. 2. Thoracic cavity. 3. Carrying food. 4. Controlling movements. 5. Carrying air. A. Other side. A. Esophagus. B. Heart. C. Brain. D. Lungs. E. Windpipe. Answers. Answer 1. Blood supply. Heart. Answer 2. Thoracic cavity. Lungs. Answer 3. Carrying food. Esophagus. Question 4. Controlling movements. Brain. Answer 5. Carrying air. Windpipe. Question 4. Answer the following questions. 1. What is the term for becoming smaller? Answer. The term for becoming smaller is contraction. B. When does a pulse become slower and when does it become faster? Answer. When we sleep quietly, the pulse is slower and when we run, then it becomes faster. Question 5. Give reasons. A. The structure of the body is such that all internal organs remain secure in their places. Answer. The internal organs carry out very important vital functions and should not be damaged due to any movements. Therefore, the structure of the body is such that all internal organs remain securely located in their places. B. Blood must be kept flowing in the blood vessels throughout the body. Answer. From the blood that flows in our body, we get the air that we breathe in. The nutrients from digested food are also carried to every part of the body by blood. For this purpose, blood must be kept flowing in the blood vessels throughout the body. C. The brain has to be kept completely safe. Answer. The brain carries many important functions. If there is any injury to the brain, the person can be disabled for life or even die. Therefore, the brain has to be kept completely safe. Question 6. Draw, name and color. A. The brain, page 73. B. The lungs, page 72. C. The heart, page 70. D. The esophagus, page 69. These are the lungs, picture of esophagus and 
the heart. Children, take your EVS1 notebook, take a new page, write today's date and copy the notes and complete the drawings also. Thank you.